So guys, so welcome to this video um, lesson on uh, it's a continuation. So we've been talking about nutrients in our previous videos and then nutrition. We discussed nutrients such as carbohydrates, lipids, we discussed water, mineral salts, okay. And also we discussed proteins, okay. So now in this video we're going to discuss vitamin, okay. So please if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, Put a like uh, like button as well and also share and comment on the video um, so vitamins okay or vitamins whichever way you want to pronounce this vitamins these are nutrients okay and these are nutrients actually the name itself vita it comes from what we call the the name vital in english okay vital simply means something that is what important okay something that is very important to the body okay so when we talk about vitamins okay and the vitamins that we have okay uh, we have uh, the we have vitamins um, they denoted by letters a b c d e k okay so we have vitamins okay a b c d e k okay we have vitamins so among these vitamins okay we have two types okay we have two groups okay we have two groups okay and uh, the first group is vitamins that are what we call fat soluble okay and water water soluble okay so we have fat soluble and water soluble okay fat soluble and water soluble so fat soluble simply mean they dissolve okay dissolve in fat this dissolve dissolve in water okay dissolve in what in water okay so now which ones are these that are fat soluble and those ones which are water water soluble okay so water soluble we have vitamin uh, water soluble we have vitamin vitamin b and also vitamin c okay so these two are water soluble vitamins and then fat soluble vitamins we have um, vitamin A, okay, vitamin B, I mean, sorry, D, vitamin E, and also vitamin K, okay. So, these are the fat-soluble vitamins, okay, the fat-soluble vitamins. And you can simply memorize them by this mnemonic. Okay. Now you can read it. Addic or addic. Okay. So it help you to memorize the fat soluble vitamins. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now these vitamins. Okay. Let's look at the definition of a vitamin. So vitamins. These are organic molecules. Okay. Required by the body okay so remember for something to qualify as a nutrient it needs to be something that the body the body wants okay must give a body a certain requirement okay and we are going to see how these vitamin um give uh, uh, important requirements that uh, the body really needs okay so these are organic molecules okay required by the body in small amounts okay we don't have to take them like in excess but in small amounts but their absence okay absence of these vitamins okay absence simply means when we lack when we lack them okay lack of these vitamins leads to deficiency diseases okay and these are just examples so deficiency diseases like scurvy which uh, occurs so you have this disease it occurs okay due to lack due to lack of 
vitamin C ok vitamin C so scurvy it's due to lack of vitamin C rickets it's due to lack of vitamin D night blindness it's caused due to lack of vitamin A and also constipation result ok now constipation is simply due to lack of breath rapage which is not a vitamin and it's another mineral uh, i mean it's another nutrient that to we'll talk about okay another nutrient that we'll talk about okay so let's just uh dive into these vitamins okay and we'll start with vitamin c we'll start with vitamin c so vitamin c okay vitamin c it is also called ascorbic acid so called ascorbic acid okay so now vitamin c uh, like we've said it's water soluble okay it is water soluble okay uh, vitamin c is uh, important in formation of connective tissues okay uh, important information so it helps to form the you can say connective tissues eh? connective tissues okay helps in connect uh, formation of connective tissues in the body so that is the importance of this vitamin c helping in formation of these connective tissues eh? it forms these connective tissues in the body okay so we've already said the deficiency okay okay deficiency deficiency of vitamin c okay causes causes scurvy okay to cause scurvy and this scurvy um it's a situation where a person okay with symptoms like um, poor poor mm. healing okay poor healing wounds okay also swollen swollen gums okay and painful muscles so these are just the symptoms of this disease scurvy okay poor healing wounds and this comes mostly in the exam way say you they'll ask you for someone who has poor healing wounds what are they lacking in their body okay so you're going to be lacking vitamins and then what type of foods okay sources where do we get sources of vitamin c okay sources of vitamin c number one okay the two major sources of vitamin c are fruits okay e.g. oranges and also um, to vegetables okay vegetables eh? okay again on vegetables okay do not overcook them do not overcook because it destroys it destroys vitamin c okay it destroys vitamin what c okay destroys vitamin c okay so 
this is all you need to know for now uh, for vitamin C. Okay, so I've said it's important in formation of tissues, and when tissues are formed, that's how wounds uh, get healed. Eh? That's how wounds get uh, healed. Okay, so that is on vitamin C. Okay, let's look at the next vitamin, which is vitamin D. Okay. Vitamin D. So vitamin D is under the fat soluble. Okay, it's here uh, under the fat soluble vitamin. Okay. Our uh, vitamin D. Okay, helps. Okay, helps in in the absorption. Helps in the absorption helps in the absorption of absorption uh, or absorption we can also say and metabolism okay it helps in the absorption and metabolism of um, important mineral salts that we discussed okay calcium calcium and and phosphorus okay okay so it helps in the absorption of calcium and and phosphorus okay calcium and phosphorus okay so these two they help help in um formation of new new bones okay we can say strong bones strong bones and and teeth okay strong bones and what teeth okay so deficiency when you're lacking vitamin d what happens Deficiency leads to a disease we call rickets. Rickets this is where okay. This is where you um weak bones okay. Weak bones. Hence they cave. Okay, the bones of cave and arrogates, okay. So sources sources of vitamin D okay sources of vitamin D um you can get vitamin D from um from milk eggs uh, oil okay and sunlight okay as you stand on the sun okay as you stand on the sun the skin can make vitamin d okay skin okay makes vitamin d when you stand on sunlight eh? the skin will make vitamin what d okay so this is what we've discussed under vitamin D, and that's uh, what you really need, uh, really need to know. Okay, that's what you really uh, need to know. Okay, so let's look at some more vitamins. Okay, some more vitamins. Um, so some more vitamins. Let's talk about vitamin A. Okay. Okay, vitamin A. Okay, so vitamin A is also called uh, retinol. It is also called retinol. Okay, so it comes. Okay, comes. Comes from 
the word comes from the word retina retina this is a part of the eye okay a part of the eye part of eyes okay it's a part of the eyes okay that helps in refracting light okay so it's important okay important so vitamin a is important in good vision okay vision simply means seeing okay so deficiency of vitamin a of vitamin a okay deficiency of vitamin a will result uh, into night blindness To result into what night uh, night blindness okay to result into night uh, blindness okay sources okay sources of vitamin a vitamin a you can get this from carrots okay from from carrots okay there are many other sources of vitamin a most common one it's uh, Carrots, eh? okay. Most common one are carrots, okay. Also got vitamin K, okay. Vitamin K, okay. So vitamin K, um, vitamin K. So vitamin K is a very important vitamin, okay? Very important vitamin, especially when it comes to, um, when it comes to coagulation, okay? So vitamin K, okay? Vitamin K, um, vitamin K, it is, important, in information of blood clots okay it helps to to stop bleeding okay. it helps to stop bleeding okay it helps to stop what mm -hmm. bleeding okay so it's important information of blood clots okay okay it's important information of blood clots okay so deficiency deficiency of uh, vitamin k uh, causes um okay causes uh, bleeding eh? uh, bleeding um, uh, so it you find that for the bleeding to stop the blood has to form what we call a clot and without those clots okay the person bleeding okay bleeding not stopping okay um so these are just some of the uses okay don't want to go deep into them okay so deficiency of vitamin k causes excessive bleeding eh? bleeding that is excessive okay and takes long to stop okay the sources green vegetables such as spinach okay it is also produced so in our intestines the large intestine there's a certain bacteria that is able to produce this vitamin K, okay, and then it is absorbed. Okay, it's also found in cheese, okay. Vitamin K is also found in cheese. And vitamin E, also known as tocophero, helps protect cells from damage caused by free radicals and also helps to build the immune system. And the sources, you can find it in broccoli, spinach, um, 
sunflower seeds okay uh, there are a number of causes that can result in uh, vitamin e uh, there's not one disease that is specific but since uh, it helps in protecting your cells from damage from these free radicals okay you can have a number of diseases okay that will result because of lacking vitamin e okay and the last vitamin is vitamin b um, vitamin b there are about eight groups okay even the other vitamins they have a bit of groups here and there but vitamin b has a lot of groups so you have vitamin b1 b2 b3 b5 b6 b7 b9 up to b12 okay b1 is called thiamine b2 is called ribofl uh, riboflavin b3 is called niacin b5 is called pentaphenic acid b6 is called pyrin toxin b7 is called biotin and b9 is called folate and also um, b12 is called uh, cobalamin, eh? cobalamin. Uh, so the functions they help in formation of red blood cells okay formation of what red blood cells okay especially vitamin b12 and b9 the folate and the cobalamin okay this is open formation of red blood cells okay they also help in maintaining energy levels and supporting brain functions okay supporting brain function so where do we get vitamin b from meat fish and dairy products okay meat fish and dairy products so hence the deficiency of these vitamins result in a number of diseases okay just to mention a few you can have what we call anemia okay you can have what we call anemia okay anemia is where a person is lacking what okay lacking red blood cells okay lacking red blood cells um, b12 and folate okay you have diseases such as uh, anemia okay so those are just some of the functions of vitamin b12 that you need to know okay you can still um, research on more functions and just to look at which vitamin but that's uh, beyond the scope of this uh, of this uh, syllabus for all level okay so um, the last mineral okay I mean the last nutrient is uh, what we call roughage Okay, what we call roughage, which is also called uh, dietary dietary fiber. Okay, dietary fiber. Okay, that's the last um, nutrient. Okay, so this marks the end of this series under nutrients. Um, so this roughage, it is simply uh, part of the diet. Eh? We eat it in part of the diet okay no no it's called dietary fiber okay so this is the you can say this is the indigestible okay indigestible part indigestible part of that okay made of cellulose okay made of cellulose okay and they just but that made of cellulose okay so now what's the function of roughage the function of roughage okay um roughage okay adds adds bulk adds bulk to feces okay and this will stimulate okay this will stimulate peristosis so that the feces can move in the intestines until they reach the anus where they are expelled eh? uh, helps stimulate peristosis okay in the intestines
okay so that's why you find that uh, if people that usually have talked about this constipation i mentioned it constipation constipation is simply a condition where it's difficult to defecate eh? okay difficult to defecate difficult to defecate okay because of okay due to dry and hard feces okay due to dry and hard feces okay so this is what happens okay deficiency of roughage you don't have roughage you're not eating roughage okay you are going to end up with what we call constipation eh? so constipation so sources okay sources sources are um, the sources of you know, maize fruits and also what eh? and also cereals okay so this marks the end of uh, the topic nutrients okay and still read more and try to go through some questions here and there just to understand for those who are new to the youtube channel please like and share this video also hit the subscribe button to get more notifications and to keep on following us as we continue to explain topics like biology okay subjects like biology physics um, chemistry and so on and so forth even mathematics